All right, so what is the highest degree on the denominator? That's how you know what you're gonna multiply the top and bottom by. Uh, it's x squared, so I'm gonna go one over x squared and one over x squared. Uh, this one has a degree of zero, this one has a degree of two, so we're gonna do x squared. Uh, now when we, when we do that, what we get is, on the top, we get a one over x, and on the bottom we get a one, and then we get a one over x squared. Well, we multiply this guy times that and that, and we multiply this guy times that. This is what we get. Okay, so what um, what do each of these parts approach? Okay, so that's what you're doing right now. You're trying to think of this graph. You're thinking of this graph, and you're thinking of this graph. Okay, I think you guys can easily graph those, but I'm going to go ahead and do it for you. All right, so now what we're doing is we're doing we're going to check the left side first. Okay, so left side means as x approaches negative infinity. That's the left side of each of these graphs. Now you guys can probably tell me right away. Look at this graph. What's the left side approaching? Uh, negative infinity. That's this way. Oh my God. What is that approaching? Zero. That's approaching zero. What is uh, this one approaching? Uh, one. one. And what is this one approaching as we go left? Uh, this one's approaching zero. 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 That's right. Okay, so um, let's, uh, let's do that for, for this right here. So we're, we're technically kind of thinking about, as we're going to the left side of the graph, so we think about this one, and you guys already told me it's zero, right? And then uh, we think about this one, and that one's one, technically. And then when you think about this graph, you guys said it was zero. So what is zero over one? Zero. zero. So this means that f of x, which we're saying is this graph right now, f of x, the y value is approaching zero. It has a horizontal asymptote actually at zero. In fact, if you guys knew about horizontal asymptotes, I'm hoping that you didn't even do all this because you just saw the numerator and went, hey, the, the, the numerator has a degree that's smaller than the degree of the denominator. And when that happens, you have a horizontal asymptote and it'll always be zero. Oh. The same? Yeah, okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. If we went to the right side. Now, if we're on the right side of the graph, okay, and you're thinking about this graph, what's where is this graph approaching on the right side? I'm hoping you guys say zero. Where is this graph approaching on the right side? One. What's this graph approaching on the right side? That one's also zero. So we get the same result. We get f of x is approaching zero. Okay. Now, um, just uh, for, no, this one's not, that's not gonna change anything. Okay, so that's how you do that one, uh, algebraically. So this graph, Looks like this. Notice the left side is approaching zero and the right side is approaching zero. Whenever there is, guys, whenever there is a degree on the numerator that's smaller than the degree on the denominator, you're gonna have a horizontal asymptote right here. And the graph always goes towards the horizontal asymptote. It trends towards it on the left side and the right side. 